This is Mark Bell, and uh, today's edition of the Power Project is going to be a little different. Uh, there's not going to be any raps or any rhymes or anything like that. We're going to talk today about a guy who's very important, was very important in the strength game, a uh, guy that I looked up to, a guy that everybody kind of had to look up to just because he was so damn big, a guy by the name of Mike Jenkins. Uh, it's Thanksgiving. Um, Mike Jenkins uh, passed away um, earlier this morning. Um, it's some sort of complications in his sleep. How he went is uh, is not sure. Uh, my heart goes out to his wife, Carrie, uh, who I've met several times. And she's an awesome woman. Um, but Mike, he was he was special. He was different. Um, a lot of times you meet people in the strength game, and uh, they're pretty wacky in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of times you meet people that have the desire to be a power lifter, have the desire to be a strong man, and that's all they do. That's all they ever do. That's all they. That's all that their life is about. It's all about strength. It's all about. Um, it's all about power lifting, and they can't make ends meet otherwise. And uh, you find these, these uh, a lot of these guys are working in strip clubs or they're bouncers or whatever. Uh, Mike wasn't like that. Mike was somebody who was looking to have a real impact on other people's lives. Um, he, he had his own gym. He just opened up uh, fairly recently, CrossFit Gamma. Um, he was a very driven individual. Um, and uh, while... Uh, he had more than just um, strong man to define who he was. Uh, he was, you know, consumed by it, and he trained his ass for, trained his ass off for it to get into the positions that he did. And he was very successful, very successful pro strong man, which is saying something nowadays uh, with the level of competition that's out there right now. Um, but uh, Mike was somebody I connected with easily. Uh, through uh, Jesse Burdick. Um, Mike was somebody that, uh, for uh, lack of a better term, just uh, felt like a brother in strength, you know, felt like a brother in, in, uh, in the iron game. And somebody who uh, Jesse and I uh, understood right off the bat when we first met him because he's very straightforward, uh, very friendly. And I'll say this too, um, never, never really seen him uh, say anything negative. Um, very positive guy, uh, very upbeat guy, very, uh, very excited, uh, very excited and very, um, enthusiastic about the things that he was about to do. And, um, it wasn't just about him, you know, it wasn't just about his goals and his desires. He really wanted to impact other people's lives. Uh, I know that CrossFit is responsible for bringing a lot of Olympic lifting and powerlifting and so on, and even some strongmen uh, into some CrossFit boxes. But Mike was very, very passionate about spreading the word of strength to everybody that he encountered. And uh, he even had 50, 60 year old men and women lifting uh, stones in his gym. Like, who would have ever thought you'd see people do that? But. I, when a guy who's uh, six foot seven or six foot eight, however the hell big he, however the hell big he is, uh, you know, tells you that you you need this and you're just gonna you're just gonna listen to him. Uh, Mike was a huge individual, made me look like a giant baby. Um, I was just uh, lucky to to uh, to get to know him, and uh, he will be uh, he'll be badly and sadly missed. Uh, by the strength community, uh, not only is just being a badass, but being somebody who's uh, upfront and somebody who's um, somebody who's uh, just straightforward, somebody who shoots from the hip. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, it's kind of a coincidence, um, but Mike Jenkins is the next cover of Power Magazine. Uh, we already had that in place. We already have photos. Already had an interview from Matt Vincent, uh, but we will also uh, turn this into a memorial of sorts for him to um, to honor his uh, memory. Um, I just uh, I'm really uh, heartbroken by the events that occurred today. 
Um, just as I said earlier, that I, it felt like that uh, he's somebody that I really connected with. Um, big, strong, son of a bitch. And uh, life is short. And uh, it's terrible that he went on Thanksgiving. Uh, but at the same time, uh, for some of you out there um, that do have a lot of things to be thankful for, uh, you should th try to focus in on those things and and, uh, and and try to focus in on the positive as Big Mike Jenkins did. Big Mike Jenkins was a giant with a giant heart. And uh, what I learned from him uh, just in a couple times of meeting him was, uh, was very simple. And uh, he actually told me, uh, he, he told me a, a very simple message that I think uh, can be something uh, everybody can carry on. Um, I don't even know if he, I don't even, I don't know if he know, I don't know if he knew, you know, uh, I don't know if he, if he knew at the time what he said was so profound, but he just kind of said it. You know, uh, he said he liked the Power Project, he liked some of the things I was doing, and he said, you know, the goal is simple. Uh, your mission is simple, your job is simple, your goal and your mission each and every day is to get better. And uh, I just thought like, man, wow, he just really summed up a lot. You know, it's not always about just uh, getting stronger. It's not always about just uh, getting faster or getting bigger or this or that. It's just about getting better, maybe, maybe getting better outside the gym uh, and so on. So Anyway, the guy had a heart of gold, and uh, and uh, I, for one, will uh, miss him deeply, and that's all I got to say.